Bill. What happened to you? You got enough loot for the boat back? I lost my ticket. You know, that babe really was married. I thought she was conning me. Mr. Harper, uh, what do I have to do to get my refrigerator door fixed? Well, Buddy's taking care of it. All he did was kill two cans of beer and talk an ear off my wife. He went out for a gasket, and that was the last we saw of him. Well, I'll see it gets done. Oh, I know that. But the question is when. I don't like to be constantly complaining to the owners. This afternoon. I'll get on it right now. Hi, buddy. What are you doing here? Just looking for a gasket. Well, it's about time. Bowman's threatened to go to the owner again. Not when I get through with his wife, he won't. I've warned you about that. <laughs> Relax. You've seen her? Instant nothing. What's the gizmo for? Go on, get out of here. It'll never float, man. I forgot. Dottie's home.
Hi, Red Face. Hi. How about a martini? What time is it? <laughs> What's that got to do with it? Well, it feels a little early. Well, it's uh, six o'clock in New York. Here. <gasps> oh, that was a low trick. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-uh. They'd haul me up for restraint of trade. You're a big help. <laughs> it's hot. Celebration. Mm. Celebrating what? Come on inside. I've got a surprise for you. I'll bet. Don't you want your shirt? What for? Now that you've got me this far, what's the occasion? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going back into business. I found an angel. Oh, Bill, not again. What do you mean, not again? You still owe everybody. The government's after you. They're bound to catch up with you. I'm lining up a front man. As far as anyone's concerned, I'll just be a hired hand. Bill, it won't work. What do you want me to do? So I went broke once. Live off you, manage an apartment house so they can't garnish you my salary? I think we ought to do what the lawyer says. <sighs> no thanks. Internal Revenue does not recognize personal bankruptcy. They're the ones who are on my back. Oh, come on. Don't be a sore head. I guess this is where we came in. Well, then let's start over. You talk and I'll listen. Mm-mm. I have a much better idea. Sorry, I'm such a problem. You're not a problem. It's just that you're such a dreamer. Which is what I liked about you in the first place. Yes, I'll be right down. Goodbye. The new client's leaving tonight. The agency wants me to come down and make a few changes in the ad layout. So who cares? Saturday. So I care, Bill. I have to. It won't take long. Now, who's the sore head?
Are you home? It's Bill Harper. Doc? See you. Took you long enough to answer the door. You still having trouble with the broads? Why don't you come in? How'd you find me? That was easy. I had a buddy at Motor Vehicles run a make on you up in Sacramento. Why? Oh, I just wanted to see an old friend. That's a lot of trouble to go to just to see an old friend. Hey, what's eating you, you old sourpuss? I mean, you could pretend a little. It's been five years. Well, at least you came to the back door. Being seen with you wouldn't do a thing for my business down this way. Well, now, how about that? When I knew you, you were just a foreman. And now you've got a business all your own. Yeah. If you're looking for a job, I can't help you. You know that. You're on every list on the waterfront. What the hell did you have to pull a stunt like that for? I was in a hurry. When the wreck off Catalina came up, I saw it was a chance to quit diving for pennies. You didn't have to cut everybody's throat to get it. I low bid the contract, didn't I? When you're on your own, it's every man for himself. Nice guys work for somebody else. And I'd have made it if it hadn't been for the tides. Well, you better leave here if you want to try it again. In L.A., you're a dead pigeon. Uh, who needs them? Thought you were looking for a job. Oh, no, that was your idea. Tuck, I've got something else. It's a hell of a proposition, and I want you to come in with me. Diving? Oh, what else do you know? How to repair marine engines and diving gear. And that's what I'm sticking with. I'm talking about real money. You think this is so bad? With all these jokers buying boats they don't know anything about? This is the biggest license to steal since TV repair. Yeah, but it's not the same as diving. Look, I brought you up from an apprentice. You play. I'm strictly a spectator. Are you telling me that you can't dive anymore? I'm telling you I won't dive anymore. But those salvage outfits caved my skull in long enough. What did it get me? Eh, maybe you're right. Hey, it's getting late. I gotta run. Dottie will be getting out of church. Let's get together, huh? I'll give you a buzz. Maybe you can give me some free advice. You know what free advice is worth. How much do you figure to make on this job you're talking about? Oh, about a quarter of a million bucks. Church. Uh, just looking through the help wanted ads. What for? Well, the job, baby. What else? Don't you think it's about time you got up? I was just waiting to hear it from you. Now you're happy? Open the door for me, will you please? We uh, don't get much chance to talk alone. I managed to hold up. Open the door. You know why you keep putting me down, Dottie? I've been reading a psychology book. You don't really hate me. It's what they call sex antagonism. Something like playing hard to get except for you try to dominate people. 
You know what I mean? You listen to me. I tolerate you, not dominate. I cook your food and I wash your clothes for one simple reason. You're Bill's brother. If it weren't for Bill, you... <laughs> I know that, baby. You love Bill. Of course you do. You married him, didn't you? I was just showing how things a guy does can be... Uh, misunderstood. Like if I uh, gave you a hard time, it wouldn't mean that I had big eyes. I couldn't do that to Bill any more than, uh, than you could. This where you went for broke? Solid of here. These are new films. I took them a couple of weeks ago. You bring me all the way across town just to look at some home movies? That round building on the right? That's the casino. Then there's the pier where the excursion steamer docks. You can see the beach. The other pier is where the seaplanes land. What's that? A cave. It's out of sight, beyond the point. And there is Building X. Building what? A couple of guys in scuba gear could come out of the water at the beach, go up to and into Building X, come back out, go down the pier, go off the end of the pier, and be back underwater in less than eight minutes. I have a feeling you're trying to tell me something that I don't want to hear. Now, what's Building X? An arcade. I can see that, but what's inside? The bank. You're talking about robbing a bank? That's right. Well, you're out of your cocky picking mind. Oh, I mean that. Well, you're nuts. Crazy. Now think about it before you pop off. I didn't like the idea any better than you do. At first. Until I realized it's foolproof. Just takes a little getting used to. I'll bet it does. Well, what are you doing? Uh, just showing Tuck some film. You remember Mr. Tucker? I told you about him. He's the one that taught me all I know about diving. Oh. Tuck, this is my wife, Dottie. Nice to know you. We were discussing that business deal I'd mentioned to you. You're home early. Well, I'm just making up for Saturday. Aren't you from uh, San Francisco? I was. Yes, he's living down here now. He has a business here. Oh, really? What business are you in, Mr. Tucker? I'm in Even salvage. <laughs> On land, you call it repair. When it's underwater, it's salvage. It's really the same thing. Right, Tuck? I guess you can say that. Uh, look, I gotta be running along. Uh, don't rush. Well, if you don't mind, I think I'll go upstairs and steal a little sun. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thanks. Tuck, listen. I listened, Buster, but I didn't hear a thing. As far as I'm concerned, you stink of trouble. I'm not asking you to make up your mind. Just think about it. The day after Labor Day, there'll be $250,000 just laying in that vault. Forget it. You don't have to commit yourself. It won't hurt to go over and take a look around. I said forget it. Tuck. $250,000 for us to enjoy for the rest of our lives for less than eight minutes out of the water. Think about it. I'll see you in the morning. We'll go over to the island and take a look around. I'll pick you up at nine.
Dottie? Dottie? In here. I'll be right out. Good to have you home early. I'm going to sunbathe. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, can I drive you to the office tomorrow? I have to use the car. Oh, I guess so. Mm. It's Lord outside, and Wilson walks, Craig moving to second. And here comes Bobby Davis, and now let's see how they play. How would you play it? One run behind the last of the eighth, and a good butter coming up. One down. If you sacrifice, you lose a big out. But you put the tying run on third, the potential winning run on second. Here's Johnson's pitch. All one. All away. Well, it looked like he was set to swing. Now he steps out of the batter's box and looks at the coach. It's a good possibility Bobby might try for a bunt and a base hit. Eliminate the possibility of a double play and put the pressure on the Cardinal infield. Johnson lobbed to throw to first. Wilson is back. Johnson's in the stretch position. Here's the pitch. And there goes Craig. He's in there. Walker fires to second. Wilson, who overran the bag, is hung up. Dobb chases Wilson toward third. Now he throws to Gavin, who chases him back toward second. And Craig breaks for the plate. He's, he's out at the plate, and Craig is furious. Tucker? Yeah. Fellow down at the mooring said you were a good hand with boats. Thought maybe you'd take a look at mine. This time of night? Well, I've been trying to reach you all day. You're a hard man to pin down, you know. How about tomorrow morning? No. I'll be gone tomorrow. Well, you name the day, Colonel. I'm particular who works on my boat. What you got? Got a cabin cruiser with a Johnson motor. Air-cooled manifold or water-cooled? It's air-cooled. I think you've come to the wrong man. I don't think so. Looks like you got a dead soldier there, Colonel. Why don't you and me share this here new recruit? If you got a bum motor, take it someplace else. You name the day, Colonel. I can wait. I said take it someplace else. And I said I can wait. I don't need it until we go to Catalina. Who the hell are you? Now you get off of me. I said who are you? I said... Get off of me. You stay on your butt.
first he didn't know what kind of a manifold he had in his motor. And he made that crack about Catalina, so I jumped him. What did he look like? Little guy. That's sort of a Texas or Oklahoma accent. Not too much, like he hadn't been home for a while. Call me Colonel. Oh, yeah. He was smoking one of those roll-your-own cigarettes when he came in. That do anything for you? Doesn't ring any bells for me. Maybe I'm getting spooky. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Freeways are full of guys that drive 80 miles an hour and they can't even change a spark plug. And if you own a boat in L.A., Catalina's the most popular place to go. A lot of ex-cons roll their own cigarettes. Uh-huh. So do a lot of guys from Texas and Oklahoma. And you keep shooting spear guns at your customers, you're gonna run yourself right out of business. Come on, the boat leaves at 9.45. Let's go. Okay. Why not? Two guards come over on this boat. They get there at noon. Then they walk to the bank, and the money is ready for them in a canvas bag. They walk back to the boat and put it in the safe. The boat leaves at four, gets back to Wilmington at six, and there's an armored car waiting there for it. You mean they just walk down the street with a quarter of a million bucks? What do they have to worry about? It's an island 27 miles from LA. If you tried to run on an airplane, you'd be intercepted. Try to get away in a boat and the Coast Guard would grab you. You're sure as hell not gonna walk or drive. Don't try to tell me you can do it underwater. Not all the way, that's for sure.
Yes, sir? Hello. Would you change this for me, please? Certainly, sir. Would you like some silver? Hmm? I'm sorry. Did you want some silver? Uh, just a dollar's worth. Thank All you. Right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. There you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. What do you think? I think it's a long swim from the cave to the beach. You'd have to use twin 70s and overload them. There's one thing you've uh, conveniently forgotten to mention. What's that? Once you're back in the water, how do you get the loop from the island to LA? Are you in, Tuck? I still haven't answered my question. How do we get the loot back? It's easy. On this boat. solitary drinking does to you. You know what any kind of drinking does to me. Yeah. <laughs> Did Mr. Tucker get the loan you were talking about? It's just a matter of signing the papers. We'll get the money next week. What about the tax people? Will you stop worrying about that? We'll use Tucker's office for a front. I'll just be on the payroll. Let him garnish my brains out as long as I have a piece of the action. Bill! Oh, I forgot. Buddy's been waiting to talk to you. I want to talk to him, too. Did he start painting 14? I don't know. Why don't you go find out? I'll wait. Hmm. All right. Did you start painting? <laughs> you know, you're too much, Dad. You really are. I've had a rough day, buddy boy. You're keeping me from my booze. Yeah, that Catalina, 
It's a real drag, right? What are you talking about? I had a visit from a friend of yours. Remember, uh, uh Purdy? Little guy with a corn pone accent? What did he want? Well, he wants to sit down and make a deal with you. Well, now, if he's such a friend of mine, this Purdy, why did he talk to you instead of to me? You scare him a little. He'd rather have me make the arrangements. Let's face it, Bill. You've got no choice. We both want in. What do we need them for? We don't. But we're stuck with them. You're stuck with them. Well, you could at least hear what Purdy has to say. Why should I? I don't even know who he is. All right. He came to me about a year ago, right after the Catalina mess. He'd spotted me when he was casing the island. Wanted to hire me to do some scuba diving. Well, I strung along with him until I found out that he was talking about the bank. Well, then I kissed him off and he disappeared. Yesterday you can't even remember the guy and today you give me his life's history. If I told you about it yesterday, you would have blown the whole deal. Go ahead, I just live here. Talk you remember, buddy. The boy here give you the pitch, Colonel? Well, why don't we all sit down and be sociable? <clears throat> you got a beer? Now, a couple of things I want to say. Number one, I got nothing against you glomming onto my idea. I figure I'm the last guy to holler about somebody else stealing. Number two, it takes four guys to pull this job. So if you don't use the kid here and me, you gotta hook up with a couple of strange jags. That's a crock. All right. You two guys prove to me that you can pull this by your lonesome and I'll walk. And I'm telling you right now, this here's a four-man score. All right, this is the way it goes. Sunday, the day before Labor Day, we borrow a boat. We take our scuba gear and stuff over to the island after dark, and we bury it in a cave that's on the other side of the point. On Labor Day, we take the steamer from L.A. to the island. Tuesday morning, we go to the cave and we suit up. It's about four and a half minutes to the end of the pier. Now, we'll pass the guards on the way down. When we get to the end of the pier, we go back into the water. I take the dough and I hang it onto the keel of the steamer, and swimming underwater, we go back to the cave. We change into our regular clothes, bury our scuba gear using our own weights, and walk back into town separately. Then at four o'clock, we take the steamer back home. Amateur hour. You kind of went over my head a little on that sticking the gilt on the bottom of the boat. How you figure on doing that, Colonel? Easy. We split.
spill the dough into this bag. It's watertight. Then we hang the bag onto this plate using these hooks. This plate is a permanent magnet made of alnico, hold over 100 pounds. We slap the plate onto the keel of the steamer and the boat brings the dough back to Wilmington Forest. Then Tuesday night, I go off the end of a little dock near the terminal, pick up the dough, and Tuck drives me home. And they take the guilt to L.A. for you. That's not bad. Let me see. I gotta hand it to you. This I like. The rest of it stinks. If you don't like it, forget it. Knock it off, Tuck. What don't you like about it? You tell him, Dad. Not bad for amateurs. Two boys are going in a pro league. Now, just let me tell you a couple of things you may have overlooked. First of all, Colonel, you got to have alibis. Because they'll be checking on every scuba diver in Southern California. You got to have phony identification while you're on the island. Now, you can't score until they give the dough to the guards in the bank. Before that, it's kept in a room behind the vault. You can't handle that. Another thing, the vault doors are locked open. So you can't lock the bank people in there. And there's an alarm in every vault connected with the station. You've got to hit the end of the pier before the police get out the bank to find out what's going on. And the steamer pier's a half minute further away than the other one. And boys, if you're going to use the steamer, why lead them to it? Well, why not cut the alarm wire? You cut that alarm wire, Sonny, and the whole station would light up like a pinball machine. You see what I mean? You've got to be met by a boat dragging two cables. First to get you over the steamer, and then to get you the hell out of the neighborhood. By the time they get organized, we'll be long gone to the point. Say, do you know what happens when that alarm rings? The cops charge the bank. The phone line's left open, so they know all about it down at the station as soon as the first cop gets there. They radio the sheriff. That helicopter alongside the harbor will take off. The harbor patrol moves out. Every cop in town, he'll grab himself a boat. And you'll be swimming through water so damn clear they run glass-bottom boats over it to look at the fish. Now, how long are you gonna duck that helicopter in that shallow water? And it's 15 minutes to the cave, Colonel. Don't tell me. The closest you ever got to diving was a tank at the county jail. Knock it off, Chuck. He's right. You gonna go long, you better lay off that juice. Now, everybody sit down. We've got a lot to do, and we don't have much time to do it. There are four driver's licenses, social security cards, a few credit cards. Now, you just be sure them two Jags remember their new names. Well, why shouldn't they? As I begin to smell a little yeller coming out, especially from that kid brother of yourn. These look all right. What about the alibis? Well, if anybody asks you, and like I say, they will. You and Tucker spent all day Tuesday at the racetrack down at Del Mar. Made a few bets, but you didn't see nobody you knew. Kind of hard to prove we were there. At a racetrack? Why, it's harder to prove you weren't. Now, I got a friend who's going down to make a few bets for me. You bring the tickets back, also the parking stub. 
You put it under your windshield wiper. Can he be trusted? Well, what's to trust? I'm giving that old boy a piece of my action. Make a few bets for me. He knows from left field. And how about you? I ain't hot out here. Don't you worry about me, Colonel. Where's Dottie? Market. How did it go? It's all here. I've got the cable for the vault. Purdy was right. At lunchtime, only three people are working in the bank. How about the reservations? You're okay on the seaplanes. We'll take the one from Long Beach Airport and Tucker will leave from the harbor. They both land in Avalon Bay. Any trouble getting separate rooms? The day after Labor Day, it's Deadsville. They loved me. I'll keep this. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Are you getting nervous? No, I'm not getting nervous. Well, just stay out of sight until Monday. Sit back and relax. And go nuts sitting around here? You'll sit and like it. We're all in this together. Oh, don't give me that all for one, one for all jazz. Whenever I say something, I get about as much attention as Whistler's father. I'm gonna go get a beer. Driver's licenses, credit cards, social security cards. This is the last time we'll be seen together. Purdy, Monday you and Buddy go over to the island on the boat. Chuck and I will go over on separate planes. Are you all right at the racetrack? Yeah. And how about the boat? All loaded for Sunday. Too bad I couldn't get it back to the owner for Labor Day. Tomorrow night, Tuck and I will take the stuff over to the cave. Have a ball, Dad. It ain't gonna be any ball, buddy boy. You try and score in a bank, that's just plain war. They got real guns with real bullets. One of them 45s tear a hole in you the size of a beer can. And you make one mistake, you spend the rest of your life behind the wall. Anybody else got anything to say? Tucker, I'll take a little of that. There'll be no more drinking until we get back here with the dough. That goes for everyone. to talk to you. Dottie, I thought you'd gone to Laguna with the Kendricks. I decided not to. It's no fun without you. I won't be much fun this weekend. I'm up to my ears. Well, what are you and Mr. Tucker doing? We've got to wrap up the financing. Oh. What do you want to talk to me about? I don't know how to say it to you. I've been uh, trying to tell you for two days. Well, what is it? It's Buddy. You've got to make him leave here. I don't want him in this apartment. Is that what's bothering you? It's all taken care of. In a couple of weeks, we'll be moving out, and Buddy will have to find his own place. I want him to leave right away. All right. As soon as the weekend's over, I'll tell him to get out. I don't mean after the weekend, Bill. I mean right now, today. Why? Well, the other day, I found one of Buddy's beer cans outside our bedroom window. I think he's been spying on us. Dottie, Buddy leaves beer cans all over the apartment. I can't prove it, but I know he's doing it, Bill. I want you to tell him to leave.
Look, I know he's no bargain, but... Buddy wouldn't do a thing like that. Bill. All right. You've been very patient. I'll tell him. When? Buddy's leaving Monday with some friends. If you'll let him stay tonight and tomorrow night, I'll guarantee you he won't be back. Will you be here all the time? I'll be a little late tomorrow night, but I'll be here. Well, where are you going? Chuck and I have to take a boat out. Okay. Okay. you. I thought it was Bill. No, just little old me. Disappointed. You'd better go to bed. You're so right. The question is, uh, which one? It's kind of lonely tonight. All the chicks are out of town. They'll be back. Yeah, but like they say, a chick in the hand. I want you to leave. I'm expecting Bill. <laughs> Brother Bill to the rescue. Now there is a hung up cat. I said get out. What's so special about Bill? He gets to hog the whole ball of wax. Let me tell you something about Brother Bill. <laughs> you degenerate. Forget about Bill, baby. He's too busy robbing a bank to care about you. He's way over in Catalina. Don't fight it, Dottie. You won't look any different tomorrow. my fault. He told me what you were going to do. What are you talking about? You're crazy, Bill. I mean it. You're crazy. That's a switch. The tenant's blowing the whistle on the manager. What's going on in here? They said somebody was getting murdered. Just a little argument. Yeah? Who with? My wife and I. What did you hit her with? This? <laughs> Nobody got hit. It was a family disagreement. Some family. What is this doing in here? Doing some gardening. 
You know, with a temper like yours, you ought to keep this thing in the garage. Look, nobody got hit. Uh, well, maybe we shouted. I'd like to talk to your wife. <laughs> She's a little upset. Yeah? Well, where is she? I'll get her. Uh, uh, just you stay right where you are. Now, you tell me where she is. In there. Uh, are you the lady of the house? Oh, I'm just running down a complaint, ma'am. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. I, I was just going out. Is there something you want to tell me? Is it all right if I go now? Well, if you wait, I'll drive you. No, thank you very much. Charlie. I'm going to have to make a report on this. They said something about another man being here. Uh, who's that? Oh, that's my brother, Buddy. Uh, Clifford. Where is he now? The kid's at my place. What'd you hit him with, a wagon tongue? I tried to kill him. Why don't we get the dough first? Then you kill him later. Don't look at me. I was just along for the ride. Nothing's changed. We're going through with everything as planned. What about Dottie? Don't you worry about Dottie. She'll be back after I get the dough. Well, these things happen. Just for a score. People get antsy. You turn my stomach. Both of you. You sleep with the pigs, Colonel. You got a figure on getting a little dirty. I'll keep the kid with me. You won't even see him till he's sitting in the boat. You handle it any way you want. Just see to it that he's there. Whatever you say, Colonel. Just so we score on schedule.
Be right there. Help! Everybody, into the vault. Scuba divers allowed in town. You should know that. What are you doing with those spear guns? Well, I'm sorry, officer. We were just going out on the pier to fill our tanks. You're supposed to carry your tanks out before you suit up. There's no spear guns allowed in town. Anytime. Uh, we didn't know that, officer. Well, you better give them to me. Uh, can we get our tanks built? All right, go ahead. You can pick these up at the station later on. Thanks, officer.
What are you doing? I'm getting out of here. It's all over.